What's going on with y'all fans? Back with another video, back with another message. You know what to do, man. Tap in, tune in, lock in, smash the like button down below, hit subscribe. If you're new to the family, I thank you for joining the channel. We're at 20,000 subscribers. All glory, praises, and honor goes to the most high God of Israel, man. Don't know, I am an artist. Music available on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music. My latest album, Hidden Hills, is out. Hidden Hills 2 drops in two weeks. I'm excited. New clothing coming for you guys. All kinds of hoodies, all kinds of t-shirts, a brand new website, quality products. Nothing like it was before. I can't wait to give you guys the information. It'll be coming out right around the same time I release Hidden Hills 2. I thank y'all, man. Today's topic and video, the reason why people always seem to switch up on you, chosen one. There's a reason why a lot of people feel a certain way when you come around. You give off an energy about yourself of constant growth. This is what God showed me. You put pressure on people and you don't even intentionally try to. The reason why this is, is because you are constantly evolving as a person, right? You're in your own little, um, you know, world at times, your own little bubble, and you're constantly trying to evolve. You gotta understand something, chosen one. Most people on this planet remain the same person that they've always been since they were younger. So the mere fact that you are constantly evolving, right? Transforming, becoming a new creation in Christ, as the Bible says, you're constantly um, applying knowledge, praying, seeking out knowledge, trying to understand why you're here, trying to elevate in every area of your life, your health, your mental, you know what I'm saying, spiritually. And you're doing this for god and you're also doing this for generations after you you're not doing it to put pressure on anybody but it naturally does this god was showing me how a lot of people have stayed the same person that they've always been 30 years ago till this day they're the same exact person same habits nothing's changed about them you see you as the chosen one you're constantly evolving you're constantly seeking out knowledge you're constantly seeking out god's face you're constantly self-reflecting you're taking accountability you're doing all these different things that the masses aren't doing. So this is why a lot of people switch up on you, right? Who could be treating you good, you know, thinking that you have friends around at times, thinking that you have people who are for you until you start to elevate in life. And elevating doesn't always mean physical elevation. It could just mean that you have a new way of thinking, right? Your eyes have been opened up. Your mind got opened up by the most high. You start moving different, right? God starts to make you unrecognizable to certain people. People who are treating you good when you're down and they see that you begin to elevate in life. If they switch up, they were never for you. Right. And a lot of the times this is what happens with us because they know that we are getting shaped and molded by God to become all we're supposed to be for him. And people don't like that at times. It puts it puts pressure on people. It makes people feel uncomfortable. This is why you can go through seasons where it feels like you have friends. You may have friends around you, but the minute you start to elevate in your knowledge, right, in the physical plane, whatever that looks like, your body, your health, financially, whatever it looks like, you know, you start defeating some things that you've been battling with and toiling with, fear, doubt, insecurities. You start to heal from this stuff and come out a whole new creation in Christ. This is when people switch up on you a lot. A lot of people are not doing this, man. They're not putting that work in. There's a very few select, small, um, you know, bunch of us on this planet who are constantly in a state of not just thinking about growing and not just saying and talking the talk. We're actually trying to walk this walk, right? And we're doing all we can with the resources we do have available to us, our prayer life, reading, constantly allowing God to, you know, give us instruction, constantly allowing him to teach us his ways over our own people are not doing this chosen one this is why a lot of the times people love you when you're down man a lot of people you know they give off this energy that they're actually they're a good person and they love you and they care about you and you know they rock with you but the minute that something changes in your life the minute that something changes in your life do you notice how people begin to switch up and they start to those, those true colors come out it's just a fact i've seen it time and time again you know personally and i know you can relate to this 
you had a lot of love around you when you were down bad in your sin and stuff like that still remaining gullible still not having boundaries set still not being able to um understand completely why you were here you know in a state of confusion or fear still all these different things people were loving on you right you thought you had friends you thought you were cool with folks but the minute you began to transform and elevate mentally spiritually physically you notice how people just disappear they go mia they start you know um acting a little weird or goofy around you you start feeling some weird energy about you this is because they understand that you are changing and they're not right a lot of people remain stuck in the same exact place they've always been in life most people don't even make it out of their own hometowns most people stay in their hometowns you know and um a lot of the times the bible speaks about how you know even christ had to leave his hometown because he wasn't welcome there a lot of people just are okay um, and they get comfortable in a certain place and they don't get to experience anything else. They don't even take the action necessary in order to, you know, make these things happen. They've accepted the cars that were dealt to them, you see, and they see you chosen one not accepting those cars. You keep getting cars dealt to you and you you fold you you you're giving them back and you say, No, this ain't this ain't the hand for me right here. God said he had this for me, right? People don't like that about you. You're constantly putting pressure on people because you want to evolve. You want to grow. You want to change. Not for anybody else. It's not for outward validation. It's not for anything else besides you working on self. Right? You wanting to be all you can be for God. And you wanting to set the example for the most high. And change things and break things off of your bloodline, man. A lot of people talk to talk too, Charles One. That's another thing, man. A lot of people claim they love God. A lot of people claim that they want to do this and they claim that and they claim this and they claim that and we can all be guilty of it. But they don't ever take no action. It's just a lot of this. And then they go right back to doing what they've always done their whole life, man. Eating the same foods, talking about gossiping about the same things, constantly just, it's the same old cycles, man. This is why people switch on you because you no longer want to participate in certain things once you begin to elevate in life mentally. You realize, look, I don't want to be around nobody that's gossiping. I don't want to be around drama. I'm out, I'm out here just trying to live a peaceful life and grow and elevate. People start to see you, you know, in a, in a certain light when you start to move this way. People begin to think that you think you're better than them, right? Because they're offended at the fact that you're not accepting the cards that they accepted in life. This is why we put pressure on people, chosen one. It's not only, you know, the Holy Ghost that's within you, Christ working within your life, people understanding that you are different, you're gifted, they can they may not be able to put their thumb on it, but they get a sense of it when you come around. But it's the mere fact that you constantly are in a state of how can I be better? What can I do? God, what else do you need me to do every day, right? It's a constant state of self-reflection, and a lot of people are running away from their reflection, man. You know, the chosen ones are naturally self-reflecting 24-7. God is highlighting things, right? Because we're praying to him, we're talking to him, or you should be, right? Communicating, reading the Bible, trying to line your life up as best as you can with the word, right? You're going to fail. Every man's going to fail. Every woman's going to fail, but you do your best every day. You know, another thing that God was showing me is consistency, man. Consistency and obedience to the most high God is going to get you hated by 95% of this population. I'll tell you right now, and you don't even have to be a believer in Christ. If you're just consistent, it gets people, it gets people, you know, um, it's, it's, it's really sad, honestly, man, because people just start to self-reflect on their life and they really, they, they start living in regret. Then like they made all these mistakes. They're too old now and all these different things that the devil wants to feed them. And it's a lie. You're never too old to start. I don't care where you're at in life. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many mistakes you made. I don't care what you've done. God is... <laughs> open arms man ready a lot of people aren't ready for god though a lot of people claim they love god and they want to do this and they want to do that but they don't take no action they let fear stop them and they see you as the chosen one not allowing that to happen anymore right even if you're just now approaching your fears in life even if you're just getting started today it's still a start it's still applying pressure to not only those around you but the kingdom of darkness as well if you're trying to let go of sin if you're trying to understand the bible if you're praying for the first time in your life you know, wherever you're at, that's going to cause pressure to be put on folks who don't want to change, who don't want to do anything different, who are okay with how life is and how life has always been. They've accepted all the cards in life. They have no fight. That's another thing, Charles. You got a lot of fight in you, man. You've been through so much. 
And I know you guys out there have been through just as much as I have, if not more at times. You know, we all have our own um, battles and struggles, but we, we go through so much and we just remain strong. We remain consistent. It, it, this pisses people off, man. And this video is just real, man. I'm just being honest. You know, you're going to get a lot of love at times from people. You know, you, you'll get some attraction coming in your life the more you step into your calling and your purpose. But you'll realize real quick that it might just be a season of them, you know, loving on you for a second or two or a couple days, a couple weeks, whatever the case may be. But once they realize that you're not going to quit, once they realize that they can't be that distraction in your life, once they realize that you're not going to give up, once they realize that you're not going to accept the cards that they try to project onto you, you're going to see people's true colors. The one thing I can say about building anything with anybody in this life is if they love you right if they are for you no matter what your life looks like whether you're up down hot cold broken healed left right circle you get what i'm saying no matter what it looks like for you if they remain the same person that they've always been that's how you know somebody's really for you man because that's the way god is with us right god loves us exactly um right where we're at okay he doesn't like the sin that's in our life but he loves who we are, right? He, he died on the cross for all of us, man. So clearly, you know what I'm saying? The, the greatest sacrifice. He loves he loves all of us exactly where we're at. It's just the sin that, you know, God wants to highlight in our life and get us to, you know, start standing against. But if you can find somebody around you that loves you, no matter what it looks like, there's so many times, man, and I know you may be able to relate to this, but I had so much love when I was still, you know, that that um prime pray for a narcissist when i was allowing people to you know talk in my ear and accept what they thought about me and how they felt about me and what my life's supposed to look like but the minute i took a stand the minute i stepped out in faith started doing these youtube videos started um you know facing my own fears it was scary for me man but i was actually doing it that's when i noticed everybody started to switch up on me you know I started to elevate in my, you know, my mental, just the way I was um, thinking about things, what I started learning, my gifts, spiritual gifts happening, me become, becoming, you know, more and more on fire for God and praying against things and understanding and constantly seeking out his face and, and new wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So I know how to live, you know, a blessed and prosperous life. That's when everybody started to switch up and you can relate to this. This is what it is. Chosen one is the, it's the constant growth mindset that you have. I want to grow in Christ. I want to continue to do these things. I want to strive every day as best as I can. People don't like that about you, right? They want you to accept the cards that they were dealt. Like I said, your biggest enemies in this life are going to be the ones who accepted their identity from this matrix. It's just a fact. If this matrix handed them cards and they accepted it and they're not okay with it, right? They're miserable. They're in regret. They hate their life. They hate where they're at. They don't like what's going on, but they're not taking any action to do anything different. You know, and, and they want to attack those who have refused, right? It takes a lot of sacrifice to go against the grain. It takes a lot of grit. It's going to take a lot of uh, patience, endurance, so many different things that people are just willing, they're not willing to go through, man. We live in microwave society. Everybody just wants what they want with no minimal work. And I was like this. God had to break me out of this mindset a long time ago. He's still breaking me out every day. You know, I have to show up on here for you guys every day if I, if I can he gives me messages all the time. There's days where, man, I don't want to 100%. But you see, it's that drive that God still, was still instills within you too that really puts pressure on people, man. You have this, you have this, um, it's a supernatural strength about you. It's because you're protected, you're chosen, right? You have God working within you, right? And it's shining forth, it comes out in various different ways, whether it's your kindness, your meekness, your love, your patience, your strength, your focus, you know what I'm saying? All these different things. And, and, it, and it really just starts to cause people to reflect, man. You know what I mean? And, and that's what, why a lot of the times, you know, you can even have friendships and relationships for 20 years, 15 years. And, and in the blink of an eye, it all goes down the drain like it was never anything. The minute you begin to elevate, the minute that you start to step into what God said he has for you and what he wants you to do. Right? Because this whole world is going to be against it once you decide to do that. They don't want to see you healing out here. They don't want to see you blessed. The devil does not want to see you healed, happy, blessed, and walking and fulfilling your purpose. Full of love, happiness, peace, and joy. Most people want to see you down, bad, and miserable. It's just a fact. We live in a backwards world, y'all. 
you know, this message is just trying to just to shine some light. God was communicating this to me. It's that constant growth mindset that's putting pressure on folks around you. It's also God operating and moving in your life, man. The way he moves for you guys out there. You know, when you're favored and you're called and you're chosen and you have a high calling on your life and you're taking action and you're, you're walking in obedience, God's going to move for you in a different type of way. You know, there's going to be times where you may even be doubting and, you know, your faith's going to get tried. You're going to go through seasons of, of trial and error. We all are tests and all these different things. At the end of the day, God moves for his children, man. And people take notice of it. People don't like it. People feel like they're unloved by God because they see God working in someone else's life. But where they got it wrong at is the is the constant state of comparison. You see, that's why another that's another reason why people don't like, you know, how you go about your life. You don't compare. You're not out here trying to grow and elevate and do these things because you're competing with others. You're doing this for the mere fact that you want to get better. You're looking in the mirror. That's all you see is is in the, what's in the mirror. And you want to change, you want to transform, right? You took accountability for your own wrongdoings because you're not perfect either. None of us are. You see, but people want you to be competing out here, man. People like toxicity and drama and they want you competing and they want to shame you and make you feel like you ain't got it all together and all these different things. And when you don't accept that stuff anymore, when you just let it roll off your shoulders and keep pushing and keep moving and keep doing what you're called to do, it's going to put pressure on folks, man. It's going to get people to call you every name under the sun. They're going to come up with all kinds of conclusions about you and who you are and all these different things. But at the end of the day, all that matters is your relationship with God. The closeness that you have with him, your heart posture, right? We got to constantly work on these things, and we do. And this is what puts pressure on folks. This is what gets a lot of people to attack you as well, you know, in the realm, in spirit realm, you know, spiritual warfare, the devil himself, these demons, these witches, these people that he uses. They don't want to see the renewing happening, right? The renewing of the mind, the renewing of the heart, the changed ways. You know, old things are all, all old things passed away and you becoming new. People want to see you old, worn down, broken, and, 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 and the same old person you've always been because they're, they're comfortable with that. They like that version of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and people don't understand that, you know, when you're, when you're chosen, man, we just have this natural, like I said, it's this natural growth mindset. We can't even explain it at times. I know I can't. There'll be days where I don't understand why I want to grow so bad or why I want to just do is even when I'm tired and I'm worn out, right? I can't quit. I can't give up. Even when I tell myself I'm done, like God is, God is right there to say, no, you're not. You know what I'm saying? People see this about you. A lot of people do not want to grow. They don't want to do what it takes. They don't want to sacrifice. They might talk that talk. They might talk a good game. You know, I met a lot of people that talk a great game. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this and do that. And they don't even take, they don't even try once or they try once and fail one time. They don't even give it more than 30 days. And they turn right back around and say, all right, I'm not doing that. You know, this, 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 the thing with YouTube even, you know, any anything you want to put your hands to that God may be calling you to do, it's going to take season after season after season of, of um, consistency. Knocking on the door, you know what I'm saying? Constantly, you know, um, trying. And if you're failing, then you reflect and you apply the lessons you learn. People aren't moving like this, man. People are out here... <laughs> I ain't trying to talk bad on anybody, but people are just not out here doing this stuff, man. This is why you get envied as the chosen one. They tried to break you time and time again. The devil himself, all his agents tried to break you, and all it did was make you stronger. These people literally tried to wipe you out. They tried to put you through cycles of narcissistic abuse, gaslighting, hope deferred, all these different things. But you placed your hope in the most high on what he's called you to do and what he said that you're here to do, whether people like it or not. And people don't like that about you. They tried to break you. They heard about what you got going on. They heard about... How you think and what you know you know they, they they saw these things happening in your life when you started to get the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of who christ is right the word of god what we're here to do who we are who you are people started you know take notice when you started to show a little bit of um change about you and they began to try to plot and attack and scheme and, and break you that's the whole goal of these narcissists out here is to break you so you give up on all areas of life but you see, all they did was make you stronger. You're continuously growing. You're continuously reflecting, or you should be. Have balance, of course. You know what I mean? But people don't like that. That's what it is. God showed me. That's why people, you ain't going to be able to relate to people. Not everybody's going to want to go, you know, and, and answer a high calling on their life or do something different, you know, face their fears. Um, it's, it's a tough thing. It's not easy. Nothing about this is easy, right? 
you know people just want things handed to them they'll watch videos and they think it's just all going to come to them and people you know there's a lot of christians out there that have dead faith i've talked about this in a lot of videos i myself had dead faith at one point where you just you say you believe in jesus and, and all these things well, all you do is sit on the couch all day and pray you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with getting in that secret place. There's nothing wrong with being a prayer warrior. There's nothing wrong. But if God is giving you instructions and you want to see change in your life, you want to see actual transformation happen, not just spiritually, but physically, you have to take action. Faith without works is dead. If God's calling you to start something, you have to start it. You have to face certain things that are going to come up against you when that happens as well. Because you better believe God's going to give you an instruction. God's going to tell you to do something. And you're going to get met immediately afterwards with resistance, fear, doubt, intrusive thoughts, naysayers, gossipers, slanderers, demons, witches, all these different things. You know, a lot of people don't want to, you know, they don't want to um, face those things. They don't want to go through it. And they see you out here going through it. You know, a lot of the times I've done a video about this as well, and I'm going to end this video off. But a lot of the times the kingdom of darkness likes to use children of God as examples to discourage people to stop walking with God. So a lot of the times they'll turn the cameras on, right? Or they'll, you know, be watching your life when you're down bad. And they use that. The devil likes to use that and say, look, where's his God? Where's her God? And then, you know, those potential souls that you could be winning for Christ, those potential souls that you could preach a message to. They're not going to want to hear what you have to say because your life is in shambles, right? God could be stripping you, uh, stripping you down, breaking you down as well. Or the devil could be attacking you because you still have open doors in your life. And you get used, you know, as an example a lot of the times. As the chosen one. You know, this is why a lot of people don't, you know, um, they don't rock with you. They don't, like, they don't like you. Because not only did they see those low seasons, but when God starts to flip things around, when God starts to restore you, when you start to, you know, do what you got to do through obedience and you start to become blessed, they're going to witness those seasons as well. And they're going to wish that they, you know, listen to what you had to say. They're going to wish that they didn't listen to the, you know, voices of the enemy and those around them that were um, slandering you and talking bad about you. Those who were participating in witchcraft, those who were saying that you ain't nothing, you're done, you're, you're done for, you're counted out. You're no good for nothing. You don't, you're not qualified based on your past mistakes, based on your upbringing, based on whatever it is they wanted to base things off of that, you know, they wanted to um, come to a conclusion that you were disqualified. A lot of people try to dictate God's love and grace and mercy on your life as well, chosen one. They want to put a cap on not only you, but a cap on God in your life. Say God's only going to do this. He can't do that, but he'll do this for you. You know, it's just crazy, man. So stay in that constant growth. Stay in that constant state of reflection. It's the most potent thing you can do. You know, strive for perfection, but always give yourself grace. Understand that you're going to fall short, but it's okay to strive for perfection every day. It's okay to want to get better every single day. People will make you feel like it's not. People want to see you lazy out here, miserable. Misery loves company, man. It's the most cliche saying probably now, but it's the, the biggest. It's, the, it's just the truth, man. It's the biggest truth I've ever probably heard in my life. Is, is miserable people just want you to be miserable right alongside with them so they're comfortable and they're like all right let's let's hang out now i'm gonna love on you but the minute you start wanting to get uncomfortable and face some some things in your life the minute you want to start changing and growing and maybe you know reading some different things or doing something different picking up new hobbies trying to go different places trying to you know even if you um say you're stuck in your hometown and you want to go out and explore and you're taking the action you're sacrificing whatever it takes right by all means necessary whatever it takes and doing it through a place of, you know, as an act of faith, through obedience, man, people are not going to like it. People are going to switch up on you so quick. And that's just what it is. So if you made it to the end of the video, man, smash the like button. I love each and every one of you guys out there. I pray you guys are doing well. You guys had a blessed weekend. You know what I'm saying? I thank you guys again for all the love and support. 20K, man, we're doing a um, Q&A here soon. I will be going live this week, giving you guys more information about the website, the clothing. You know, I'm um, telling you guys right now, this stuff is fire. Instead of going and buying something and supporting a huge business that, you know, is anti-Christ and they have, you know, this is clear a lot of the times, please support me if you can. Just get one hoodie from me. I would appreciate it. I spent a lot of time. I spent the last three weeks coming up with designs, you know, and um, I'm excited to release this stuff for you guys. Like I said, I'll be going live, updating you guys in the community post. Smash the like button out there, man. Smash the like button. Say a prayer for your brothers out there. Say a prayer for your sisters. Say a prayer for yourself. You already know what it is, man. Until next time, it's your boy.